Wow, they have even more than the other day because I got here early. No, the one uh, next to it, the one with the ham? The, the one with the ham? Yeah, 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 the one with the ham. Always wanted to try bakery food or pastries in France. It's what it's famous for. Very good. That painting is so small and everyone's trying to see it. Man, that thing is huge. That thing is long. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this thing. Alright, we'll finish it. Yeah. You're gonna finish it? How is it though? The French baguette, you like it? Yeah. Good? That's good. Oh, man. man, you were hungry, weren't you? Yeah. There we go. And the music too. Wow. There we go. But you could you could just eat baguettes and drink water. Yeah. And survive on like yeah, survive what two baguettes. euro a day? No. Like, no uh, Four. Four euros? Chinese food in Paris, France. And this is why I avoid, as much as I can, eating at Asian restaurants in Europe. It will rip you off completely. Everything that we ate cost 28 euros. That's $30. That was not a $30 meal. Onion cheese. Doesn't look like there's meat in there. Hey. There's nothing quite like eating a donor kebab when you're back in Europe. I found an Airbnb out in Paris for about $10 a night. 
However, there were many cons to it. Number one was that it was far out of the city, let's say from the Eiffel Tower, an hour or more in public transportation. And then the next thing was there was a curfew. So no one could go in before 7.30 p.m. And in the morning at around 10.30 a.m., everyone had to leave. It was a crowded place with only one bathroom to share among everybody. The beds were pretty cramped and small. But overall, I mean, for $10 a night in Paris, that was pretty good. I only did it for two nights, so it's definitely not something that could be sustainable long term. Yeah, good GoPro. Huh? Yeah? GoPro, good GoPro. I like GoPro, yeah. yeah. No, 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 it's okay. Hey. What happens in the bracelet scam is that a group of Africans, typically illegal immigrants, will go up to you and they will tie some very cheap string around your wrist. After they have tied it around your wrist, they will tell you that it is their tradition and you cannot take it off. They will emotionally trigger you to keep the bracelet on, which is just some very cheap string that they tie around your wrist, and then they will proceed to charge you as much money as they can get out of you. My tip is just completely walk past them, avoid them, just don't engage with them. So that's the end of my week in Paris. I had an amazing time. I didn't have issues with people being rude, even though I've heard that before. I didn't get scammed. These days with the internet, if you're gonna travel anywhere, you have to do the research to figure out how to avoid tourist traps and scams. Uh, there's great food all over the city. I would recommend it for anyone to visit. Make sure that you have rideshare apps on your phone. Research restaurants before you go just walk into any of them to eat. Research the prices, look at the reviews. If you're hungry and you don't know where to go eat, the safest thing to do is just walk into a grocery store, buy something like fruit or a cheap sandwich just to fill you up for the time being. Do not just walk into any random restaurant and think you're gonna get something cheap in there. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna get ripped off if you do that. As always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please give me a like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. This is Andrew C signing out of Paris. What's up, James? What's, What's up? going on? What's I'm here up? about to drink my dream water. It's dream water? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, What's hopefully it going to do? Hopefully I get to bed really quickly on this flight so I can wake up and start my day in Paris. I'm going to follow up with you after we get to Paris yeah. to, see, uh, to see how that dream water worked. Well, how do you rate the dream water? It knocked me out, man. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. I, I can't ever sleep on a plane, so I feel, I feel good. So you would recommend it? Then. I would recommend it. There we go. Dream water. Dream water. You'll, you'll find some dreams. <laughs>